So we're uh, representing the Dartmouth Airs. Uh, we rep uh, we're an a cappella group, all male, from uh, Dartmouth College in Hanover, New Hampshire. It's an amazing experience. <laughs> we're learning so much. Um, I think one of the things that I that I love most about this experience is getting to hang out with the other members of our group and to grow as a group. Um, the Dartmouth Airs has been together for 65 years, and each of us have kind of gone through the airs in our four years at, in college. Um, and then another thing that's really amazing about it is we get to hang out with the other groups. So yeah. we're learning from other groups who have professional musicians in them and people who are focusing on music as a career. The talent to sing off is just through the roof. It's just like, it's just so humbling to be among these people and to be able to you know, compete with these people. It's just outrageous. The airs uh, have a very fun, lively, energetic performance style, and we uh, really like to match that with our wardrobe. A lot of the clothing that we wear is actually passed down from uh, alumni, So, because our alumni are such an important part of, of really the Dartmouth Airs and just the, our whole package. I mean, we, we are here really right now at, on the sing-off to to show them what we can do, and like that's something that's really that we're really proud of. Um, so yeah, and we when we wear our zany clothes, that's certainly a tribute to uh, our alums. We are BYU Vocal Point from Provo, Utah, and we are Brigham Young University's nine-man male a cappella group, and uh, we've been fans of the sing-off for a really long time. We watched it since season one. I think something about this season in particular are that all the groups that will be coming are just incredible and they're just amazing entertainers and they're, they're, they're lots of fun and I think the entire show is going to be great. I don't think anyone's going to want anyone to leave at all. Mm -hmm. One thing I like a lot about the sing-off is with an acapella competition it's just you and the audience singing. There aren't instruments, there aren't you know music stands getting in the way, it's just you and them and there's a really immediate connection there that I love, that I really enjoy. We are Urban Method and we are from Denver, Colorado and we wanted to be a part of the sing-off because it's the absolute most awesome acapella competition on the planet. The sing-off is a chance for all these amazing groups that have been together and, you know, groups that form, kind of like us, that we formed for the sing-off and I think America loves it because it's so much fun and it's so interesting to a lot of people. We were put together by a sound engineer in Denver named Tony Puerta, um, who had recorded all of us in various capacities with other a cappella groups and uh, just kind of wanted to put together a super group. And thus Urban Method was born. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we've, we haven't been together that long, but, uh, but the chemistry was instantaneous and uh, we instantly respected each other because we kind of knew each other um, from the work that we'd done in other groups and stuff, so going into it we were like, oh yeah, this is going to be awesome. I think I can speak for everyone that's on the show when I say that just the bar has been raised and the stakes are very high and, and everyone is uh, having fun but working really hard. We are The Collective. We are from Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, we wanted to do this uh, because we wanted to do something different than anything we've ever done before. It's uh, Acapella is really new for us, actually. We, we kind of, uh, collectively, um, a couple months ago, um, randomly came together through a friend of ours named Jeremy Lister, who was on um, season two. Um, he was in Street Corner Symphony. And so he sort of kind of called a bunch of friends and said, I, I had this awesome experience on the sing-off and um, wanted to pull some of my favorite musicians from Nashville um, together to try to see if it would work. And so we all showed up pretty, uh, pretty green. <laughs> But we had a lot of fun doing it. It's intimidating at first to come in and see, like, we're amongst such talented people and such amazing, amazing groups. But the way we look at it is uh, naivety is our advantage. Uh, <laughs> we don't know the rules, so uh, if we break them, so what? Uh, we, we're, we're here to, to explore our, our creative selves and, and to work together and do something different. And, and not knowing what we're doing is an advantage in a lot of ways because we can be unique because we don't know what we're supposed to be like. Right. We've got a, a, a nice southern, warm, soulful sound that I think really does bring out a lot of spiritual gospel style music in our contemporary arrangements.